Dick. Happy, happy birthday, birthday from the Penwells. Yes. We hope you have a happy uh, and healthy birthday and coming year. And Dick, I'm looking forward to celebrating with Kate and celebrating with you and Alice. Have a great day. We're thinking of you. And it's great having you as friends. Have a good day. Happy Bye. birthday. Happy 90th birthday, Dick. We miss you here at PG. Have a great year. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Dick. Happy How birthday. you been? <laughs> Hope you have a great day. We remember, we've got to go on another uh, road scholar, Dick, like to the Grand Canyon because you're a grand guy. Oh, you yeah. are a grand guy. You we're really glad you were born and we think you've grown up really well. And we try happy, to, happy birthday. And we try to find something bad to say about you as a joke, but we can't think of anything. You're such a good guy. Or maybe something smart. Something <laughs> about, <you> know, <laughs> smart asses. <laughs> so let's birthday. play the trip. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Have a great Bye. one. See ya. Bye. 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 Dick. Happy birthday. Hi, Dick. Have a very happy 90th birthday. Oh, and thank you for being incredible, by the way. And it's always nice. Whenever I'd come home, Jeanette's room was ready. Thank you. And remember this. You are incredible. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, Dad. We're all here today to wish you a very happy 90th birthday this coming September 1st. That is quite a milestone to have reached 90 years old. To look back at your life, you have made a big impression on those around you, being well respected at work and in the community. As your daughter, I have always known you to be a kind, loving, and giving father, always willing to listen and give out advice. Now, I know I didn't always take your good advice. Sometimes I had to learn things the hard way. So sorry for the gray hairs I have caused you to have even if they were delayed in showing up. I have learned so much from you while growing up. I think being able to troubleshoot and fix stuff is one of my best qualities, and to you I give credit. You have shown us that being a hard worker will make you a success in life. Raising five kids, traveling for work, and moving from city to city could not have been easy, but you worked hard to make it happen and we all turned out pretty good, I'd say. Your kindness, generosity, and willingness to help others are all great qualities you have passed on, and we hope to continue passing them on to our own kids. There is so much I could thank you for in my life, like taking me to ice skating lessons in St. Paul, even though I came home with frostbite, or being a shoulder to cry on when I didn't make the cheerleading team at Pleasant and also walking me down the aisle to marry Bill 34 years ago. Thank you for being a wonderful father-in-law to Bill and grandfather to the kids. I know we all appreciated it when you were able to come and support the kids when they had gymnastics, golf, or baseball. We've always enjoyed getting together with you and we are always wishing we had more time. It seems that our everyday routines in life get in the way of what is really important and that is spending time with those we love. So thank you for all you have given us as a father, father-in-law, and grandfather. We are very lucky to have you in our lives and we love you very much. We are thrilled to celebrate your 90th birthday with you in this way and wish you all the happiness and good health one can receive. Happy birthday, Dad. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy, 90th. Happy birthday! Thanks for everything. Happy birthday! Bye. Hey, hey Dick. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Um, my favorite memory of Dick was when I was really sick. Um, Dick kept saying to Pat. He needs Girl Scout cookies. He needs Girl Scout cookies to make him feel better. And darn if it didn't work. Pat got me some Girl Scout cookies. No, Dick sent Chris. No, or somebody. All right, I got some Girl Scout cookies, and they made me feel better. So thanks, Dick. That was just really great. <laughs> yeah, thanks for all your love and generosity to, you, to us from you. You're a great friend. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey Dick, happy birthday. I'd like to tell you a story about how we met. Uh, but that was a long time ago, you know. 
I don't remember. <laughs> well, we were young. That would be about in the 1970s. I was working at Whirlpool and there was a lot of strange talk about all things were going to change when the change of the century came about the end of 1900s and start of the 2000s. And I didn't get involved much with that. I thought about that and I said that was about 30 years off. I sure don't think I'll be around that long to be involved in that. So I never worried about it. Okay. Well, now it's 2019, way past that 2000 mark. And here we are, 90 years old. And you beat me here by two months. So, Congratulations and best wishes. I hope we keep going. Hi, Dick. I'm wishing you a very happy birthday. Sorry I live so far away. I'm sure that Alice is planning a spectacular birthday bash. Hope to see you later in the summer. Hi, Dick. We hear you are having a very special birthday and we would like to share with you some of your wonderful qualities that we have observed over the years. Hi Dick, you're a man of strong personal character who demonstrates high integrity with a positive attitude and respect for others. Some fond memories that we have are when you have spoken about your time in Korea. Our country has been the beacon of hope to the rest of the world for a long time because of people like you willing to serve their country. Rich and I have noted that you are a man of strong determination. Somehow, some way, you are able to put together 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzles and you seem to finish them all. As you can see, we could use a little help with this right now, a 48 piece jigsaw puzzle. In fact, we wish you were here right now to help us. Hey Rich, I found one. I think this is Elsa. Dick, we cherish the fond memories we have with you and we feel so lucky to have gotten to know you. We wish you a very, very happy new year. Hey Grandpa, just want to say happy birthday, uh, happy 90th. Just want to thank you for all the years of support that you've given us as kids. Uh, we couldn't ask for anything more coming to our sporting events throughout the years and, and making it an enjoyable experience for us. Um, you've always been there for us through the biggest events, whether it's been graduation, through high school and college, or you know, being with us as we get different jobs. So. Just want to say happy birthday. Um, we look forward to, to having a good day with you. Uh, Chrissy and I are excited to be able to share a lot of these, these days and nights here in St. Joe with you and Alice. And it's been a lot more enjoyable of experience being in uh, St. Joe having you guys here. So happy birthday. We love you. Have a good one. Hi, sweetie. I can hardly believe you're 90 years old. But then I could hardly believe you were 52 when we got married. Uh, and I'll have to say all 38 years have been wonderful. And I know during your 90, you, you've had many wonderful experiences. Um, five children, um, being a Korean War vet. Uh, uh, it's just, um, you've had an amazing life. And I'm so glad to have spent some with you. Love you and uh, wishing you a happy 90th. What is our friend? And we've come here to spend your 90th birthday with you. Sweet Alice, your wife, the love of your life, is pleased and we chose this to do. Yo, you are the guy, 
who has devoted much time to your church. Your pantry was blessed, and let's not forget, you served with a great deal of pride. Whirlpool had a plan to obtain a good man, a funeral director were you. They knew right away you were well worth the pay and found their decision was true. Much more can be said, but at least you know how we feel. So happy birthday to you from Miss Maleko. We hope that this day is your best. Hey Dan, we're here in Chicago, one of your favorite places. And uh, we just wanted to wish you a happy 90th birthday, but more importantly, we want to make sure that you knew how much we love you and how generous you've been over the years. All of us have been really appreciative of how much you've helped us, how much we've grown, all the encouragement you've given us. And we just wish that you had another 20 years so that you could become a great grandfather. Maybe Natalie and Hope could have something to do with that. But I'm counting on Jackson, Trent, and Kylie for that one. Regardless, Dad, in my mind, you're always going to be a great father and to the girls, a great grandfather. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. morning Dick. Hope the day finds you in good health and celebrating your 90th birthday and causing me to have to respect my elders for a long while yet. I look back upon our times together that you and Alice and I and Jan have spent together and they were wonderful times and I will never forget them and I I owe so much of the credit to our enjoyment to you and and your family. You're a wonderful person. I have I can I consider it a, a real treasure to have you as one of my friends. I sincerely wish you a happy birthday. I'm sending along a picture of um, a trip that we were on or an event. I don't remember exactly what it was. My memory's pretty bad. But uh, anyway, uh, we can look back on the good times and we can also look forward to more good times in the future. Very, very happiest of birthdays to you, my friend, my very close and dear friend of so many years. And may you enjoy many, many more in good health and good spirits. So with that, I'll attach my a photo that I want you to have, and I uh, wish you well. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, Dad. Happy 90th birthday. You've been my dad for 53 years, and you've always been there for me through the ups and downs of my life. And I'm sure you have a few gray hairs as a result. I hope you have a great day and enjoy the celebration. Hey Bruce, Alice was just telling me that Dick has a birthday coming up. He does? Which one is it? It's 90th, I think. 90? Wow, that's really great. You know, I remember when we first met Dick and Alice, when they joined St. Augustine's Church. Right. Oh, they've been such key members and such good, good friends to us. Hey, Dick, come over here a minute. Hey, buddy. We've shared so many wonderful times with you over your 90 years, and we're thinking that now is the time to celebrate your birthday 
by singing happy birthday to our favorite noctogenarian, accompanied by your recent birthday card to me. Happy birthday, hey, happy birthday, hey, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dick. You know, I have so many fond memories of good times with you and Alice. Whether it's trying to remember the rules to Euchre or going to Tosi's for all our goodies. I hope that there are many more good times with you and Alice. Happy 90th birthday, Dick. You are a great guy. I'm Sharon. And I'm Dick. We are neighbors. We were neighbors of Dick and Alice. And we just love Dick to death because he he just was so great he could fix anything and he you know had the tools for, and he shared all of those things with everybody right so we were always using his tool supply and he never tired of watching trains and one is going by right now and it is a full coal train and I don't know how much longer the coal trains gonna go but anyway he knew the schedule of all the trains, and he knew the load. Okay. And gardening. This was a major love of his, and we are still reaping the benefits of seeing his Lenten roses, his forever roses, the lilies, the, what's the wildfire, Dick? Columbine. Columbine, which not everyone has, and the oak tree that he planted, knowing that the one on the bluff was getting a bit tired, is flourishing well, and we thank him for that foresight. So we appreciated his faith. And we love the fact that he was always here and he was always pleasant and had a great smile. And, you know, we just liked him a whole lot. Plus, when we had the incident where the a limb pierced our ceiling, who should come to the rescue when we were not even here but Dick and Alice as they mopped up the floor from the excess water to prevent it from totally ruining uh, the area. So it's those kind of memories that make it so special. So when we want to wish Dick a very, very happy birthday from both Sharon and myself. Right. Happy birthday, Dick. Hello, Dick. From our house to yours, have a happy 90th birthday. We hope your special day is as special as you are. Yeah, and may you have many more, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, Dad. Hope you're having a great birthday. I prepared a list of the things that I may have uh, done over the years to cause you a headache. Here's a couple of examples. <laughs> well, seriously now, hope you had a great day and happy birthday. Love you, happy birthday. <laughs>